the world of modern air combat, two jets are stealing the spotlight. China's J-10C and France's Rafale. Let's compare these four and a half generation fighters to see how they stack up. The J-10C, developed by China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, is a single-engine multi-role fighter designed for agility, precision, and beyond visual range engagements. It features an active electronically scanned array, or AESA, radar, and is equipped with PL-10 short-range and PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles. On the other hand, the Dassault Rafale from France is a twin-engine multi-role fighter known for its combat experience. It's flown by the French Air Force and Navy and has been exported to countries like India, Egypt, and the UAE. The Rafale is equipped with RBE-2 AESA radar and carries weapons like the Meteor missile, MICA, and Scout cruise missiles. In terms of speed, the J-10C can reach Mach 2.2, slightly faster than the Rafale's Mach 1.8. Both use a Delta Wing and Canard design, making them highly maneuverable in dogfights. The J-10C's strength lies in its missile range. The PL-15, with its active radar guidance, an estimated range of over 200 kilometers, is one of the longest-range air-to-air missiles in the world. The Rafale counters with the Meteor missile, which uses a ramjet engine for sustained speed and a no-escape zone of more than 60 kilometers, ideal for contested airspace. Rafale also has a superior electronic warfare suite known as Spectra, offering advanced countermeasures, jamming, and threat detection. The Rafale is combat-proven, having seen action in Libya, Syria, Afghanistan, and Mali. It has a solid reputation for reliability and versatility. The J-10C has not yet been tested in real combat, but it plays a key role in China's Air Force and was recently inducted by Pakistan to counter India's Rafales. It represents a growing trend of high-tech Chinese exports. So which one is better? The Rafale offers proven performance in advanced electronics, while the J-10C brings speed and long-range missiles at a competitive cost. In the end, it's not just about specs, it's about strategy, training, and support systems. Let us know in the comments which jet you think would dominate the skies.